That's wild. You know, it's crazy that there's an entire world out there just waiting for us to explore it. I know. For once, I'm actually not talking about, um, once I'm not talking about the universe itself, like, yeah, I've discussed that there are so many of these various planets out there that this world lets you explore. This VR chat world. But I'm not talking about that. What I am talking about is VR itself. In VR chat, you can be anything. You can do so much. Anything. Not literally everything, but... There are some people who live their entire lives, live, breathe, and die, nothing but VR chat. Nothing but Neos, well, when that was active. Resonite. Chill out. Places like this. Because it lets you get so fucking immersed. And so... Just right there. You just... You're there. It's like, if you get, if you trick your brain enough into actually thinking that you're here, you can sometimes think you could just reach out and touch something in this space and you'd think that you'd actually get a response. And some people do. Some people get fancy sense responses back to this stuff. But I mean, even just me... Like, I know, obviously, I'm not actually on an alien planet. But I'm just saying, if I had a zero-G suspension rig and a full haptic suit, I sure as shit would think I was here. I could suspend myself floating, not touch the ground, and just... and just fly. Like, I've got this little orb here. I can just fly. And actually, check this thing. It's got reflection probes on it. That's neat. I love that. But seriously, like... We are at a fantastic time... To have this technology. To be able to explore worlds that we might never get to see in our natural lifetimes but we can experience them through this most people will never get to leave their home countries you can visit places that are simulated from like Tokyo you could go to Seoul no, South Korea Tokyo, Japan you could go to Saudi Arabia Russia, Europe, Germany well, Europe's a continent but Germany, France, Austria Ukraine, Poland, Norway, Finland, the UK, Italy, the all sorts of different, I don't remember all of them, but there's about 50 countries in Africa, South America, North America, Central America, Canada, the Arctic, and then space. You can't even go to places that don't actually exist, like Night City in Cyber in the Cyberpunk 2077 franchise. You could visit a PC defense um, formation with the Orbital Cannon from Armored Core. Lo-fi worlds, sleep worlds. Some people sleep in VR chat because it makes them that comfortable. Hundreds of places you can visit. All at the grasp of your paws or hands or whatever other digit you decide to use. And that's another thing. 
I can be a dragon fox hybrid nova beast. You can be a human. You can be an anime girl, an anime guy, an anime main character, an emo boy, an emo girl, a regulus. Um, i trying to remember the name of the cat one. Mayu. Cat, dog, dragon, fox, wolf, iguana, axolotl. So many species. You could be anything. You could be anyone. You can be John Wick. You can be Keanu Reeves. You can be Arnold Schwarzenegger. You can be a living meme. You can be <laughs> a boyfriend's agreement contract if you really want. I've seen that. I've been around. Not as much as some people. I don't have... Some people I know have a lot more hours than I do, but I've got a good thousand under my belt. I've done this for a while. VR chat changed me for the better. It gave me so many opportunities to do so much. I've done a lot. And I've experienced a lot. And I've met friends. I've met lovers. I've made a community out of this. It's beautiful. And so are you. You, right there, staring at me from beyond the phone screen. Or tablet or computer. Or hell, maybe you're watching this in a VR headset yourself. I wouldn't blame you if you were just chilling in VR and saw my notification pop up and were watching me on YouTube in VR chat. It's happened before, pretty sure. I mean, hell, watching things like videos in VR is the best place to do it because you can have a massive screen. And with the right headphones, surround sound. All without needing an expensive speaker setup and TV. And it's portable. Try lugging around a 72-inch plasma TV with you everywhere. Good luck. And that doesn't even count the sound system. We really live in a wonderful time. And yet, why do I feel so empty? Why do I feel hollow? Why do I feel hopeless when, when things like that are, should be mildly inconveniencing happen? <sighs> Just put on the mask and pretend everything's fine, right? Depressing, I know. Extremely depressing. That's why we're not going to do it. I am me, and I am who I am, and I will not put on a mask. I'm sick of doing it. I've been doing it my entire life. And I keep doing it for people. And not because people tell me to. But because it's my better... It's my not... Better judgment. It's what I think is my better judgment. It's what I think is the right thing to do. Is to not say anything, sit down, shut up, don't ask for help. It's been a problem that I've been dealing with for the past 22 years that I've been alive. Actually coming up on 23. Because if I'm remembering right, I do believe that my birthday is, in what, is within the next week. You know, it's funny. I was supposed to go down to the Moonstone to... Um, the video, but I never did, did I? That's fine from up here anyway. <coughs> I don't mind recording up here. It works. We've got a beautiful thunderstorm going on this planet. I don't even call, no, what kind of storm do you call this? Because there's no rain. It's just static charge being discharged. That's all. But, yeah. Wearing a mask your entire life. Gotta finally take it off, right? I hope more people can learn to do that. It is 
It is very much not a good way to live. To hide your burdens, don't do that. Talk about your problems with people, please. Because the only thing that hurts worse than hearing someone's problems is seeing their pain when they're trying to hold it in. Relinquish your fear and release your pain. Only then will you begin to get better. You can keep your shadows in the closet, but if you release them into the light for all of us to see, we can help you beat them back down. Turn them into nothing more than a bad dream. I also got to say, though, a personal thing of mine is, um, trying to tear out the massive tumor in my chest that is jealousy by force because that jealousy hurts people that I'm close to and what should I be jealous of I've got a pretty damn good life other than this minor road bump that I'm in right now I've had a pretty good living and I've had a lot of good things happen to me So why do I feel so hollow? Why do I feel so empty? I know that I've got a good life. I know I've got things that many people would dream of having. And I know I should be better than this. I know that. And yet, I still feel empty inside. I still want more. I should be content with what I have. I know this. But why do I still want more? I don't get it. I wish I could stop being so damn flawed. But I think I'll end it here. I love hanging out with you guys. I want you to know that. Having you right here with me, it's nice. I just hope I can do more soon. Till then. Miku Fushikawa, signing off.